we will continue on the topic we have stopped on is uh, exempting circumstances and the first uh, circumstance exempting circumstance provided by law under article 12 is the person suffering from insanity or a, an imbecile person an imbecile person uh, or an insane person the law does not uh, provide circumstances under which this in, insane person or imbecile person will be exempt uh, provided that an insane person has complete uh, insanity the the mind or the reason of that person is completely gone uh, in, in in case of imbecil imbecility <clears throat> Uh, if you will differentiate it from insane person, an imbecile person is a person having mental deficiency. Uh, his mental uh, mental status or his mental capacity is that of maybe a child or or the. Uh, he has the same mental capacity as of the child or he is fool he is a, an idiot or a really really stupid person he has mental deficiency that uh, prevents him from discerning or understanding what is wrong and what is right and that is why the law exempt him if he if that person will commit a crime that person is maybe the same status as a minor or less than of a minor or the the age of the capacity the, the capacity of his mind is that same uh, age or same capacity as that of a child as I've said so that's imbecile person an insane person on the other hand is a person with mental disorder his mind is completely gone he has different world he's different world from us he has different understanding if he understands and he's not living in our uh, in our world he is completely gone in his head and that is why an insane person is exempted when he probably commits a crime so the law requires that an imbecile person or an insane person must be at the time of commission of a crime must be without or completely uh, deprived of discernment or understanding on and free will of what he was going to do he doesn't know what he's going to do so that's why he is exempt from criminal liability because as again uh, as we have discussed before <clears throat> the general elements of a crime is freedom and uh, intelligence and criminal intent or in cases of uh, culpa freedom intelligence and a fault a person cannot have freedom or intelligence or free will your mind so persons insane persons completely deprived of uh, reason mental capacity to comprehend things this exam an imbecile person who has mental deficiency def deficiency 
is also exempted. Now, you may ask what if the person is suffering from lucid interval. If you know lucid interval is the person, uh, the person suffering from lucid interval is a person that, that uh, in there is a time that he is normal thinking person and there is a time that he snap he is out of his mind what the law uh, requires is that at the time of the commission of crime he is completely deprived of reason or understanding or discernment of what he will going to do so if the per sir, person is suffering from lucid interval or sa buang buang na yu sa hay maayo na yu sa hay buang you have to determine you have to determine whether or not during the commission of the crime he was sane or insane and that was it if the the if the, at the time of the commission of the crime he was insane he was at insane mode or at insane uh, state then he is exempted if he committed a crime during lucid interval that is during the, in the state where he, his mind is uh, normal and can comprehend things and can understand uh, good or bad or the result or the consequences of his action then he may be criminally liable for his actions there are other uh, conditions of a person that may be uh, considered as the same as insanity and these are decided cases uh, in case of uh, malignant favor uh, dementia preco better known as schizophrenia schizophrenia a person suffering from schizophrenia has two or more different personalities than himself so sonambulism sonambulism is walking asleep sleepwalking sleepwalking you have no mental faculties or reasoning of your own and epilepsy so there are other medical conditions that the the court considered them as included in the terms uh, insanity like malignant fever schizophrenia sonambulism epilepsy those are the things that also considered as included in the term insanity because at the time of the commission of the crime the mind is not functioning to the full extent to the to the point that they know the comprehend things they know what they are doing so at, it is as if they have no mind of their own and that it, that lacks the element of intelligence and or free will the general uh, elements of crime moving on insanity uh, insanity invisibility exempted minority exempted so what who is person who is a minor person minor person is below 18 that's the minor person if you are 18 above you are no longer a minor person you are not exempted anymore from criminal liability if you can commit a crime so there are two uh, groups of minority as provided for in uh, in law the Juvenile Justice Act of 2006, that's RE 9344. Now, 15 years old or under, if they commit a crime, whether or not there is a discernment or not. And by the way, 
15 15 years old or below they shall be exempt from criminal liability you don't even uh, Detailmen with or not they acted on discernment, but they will be subjected to intervention for program by the government. Now, if a child is below eighteen, but below eighteen, but uh, above fifteen, because fifteen below is exempted. So below eighteen, above fifteen. Now. Below 18, they are still exempted. The general rule is they are still exempted from criminal liability if they will commit a crime. Except that if they will act on disarmament, they will be processed and they will be uh, subjected to appropriate proceedings. Now, the rule is that they are exempted. Uh, person below 18, they are accepted. But if they acted with discernment that is with the understanding of right and wrong they will be subjected to appropriate proceeding that is to proceed with the trial or to proceed with the the uh, proceedings before the the prosecutor's office just proceed with the proceeding and to determine whether or not they acted in discernment and if they will they acted in discernment this there will be still trial but the the penalty if they will be found guilty will still be suspended so there there are still until intervention program along the way which they will be subjected to intervention program by the government and or uh, after the trial if they will be found guilty of the crime, they will still have the suspended sentence and then intervention program. Intervention or whatever program they will be subjected by the court that will promote their well-being. So that's it. Uh, imbecility, exempted. Insanity, exempted from criminal liability. Again, insanity completely deprived of reason and discernment and understanding of the, on what the, his mind is completely gone. That's insanity. Minority, 15 years old or under, exempted, but will be subjected to intervention program. 15, uh, 16 but less than 8 and so that's 16 17 if if the person or if the child acted with this discernment he will be subjected to appropriate proceeding maybe the trial before the prosecutor's office or the court will proceed and if he will be found guilty the sentence will be suspended and he will be subjected to another program, maybe a intervention program uh, by the government. Anyway, if the person or a child below 18 but more than 15 years old acted without discernment, he is or that child is also exempted from criminal liability if. 16 17 child years old child acted without discernment discernment is understanding understanding on on what is wrong and what is right and the consequences of action that's basically what discernment is all about so if a minor person is acted without discernment he is still exempted but he will be subjected to intervention program by the government and that's the first I think one two yes uh, the first two exemptions as provided for in article <coughs> uh, 12 of the revised penal code we will move on to our to paragraph 4 to 7 next time